Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Let's Play here on Minecraft. So, if you didn't catch last episode, you're probably wondering what the heck's going on here. <laughs> our world sadly got corrupted. We were out unlocking maps, my computer seized up, I had to hard reset it without exiting my world. And that's usually never good on your world, and sadly, it finally bit me in the butt. And it created an endless streak from that direction to that direction of this whole new terrain. And the only reason this is happening, by the way, is because our world sadly got changed to the seed of zero a long time ago with an update. If you go into the description, you can see my seed is different. So if my seed wasn't like this, this would have never happened. So this is generating a world with the seed zero. So we have some decisions to make. <laughs> And that is to cover this all up and try to rebuild it back to where it was or build a canal, which a lot of you suggested, which is, you know, build up the sides to make some docks coming out, maybe build a few ships coming in down through here. But I've been trying to picture it this whole time. I, I just can't build a canal here. I seriously can't. It'll seriously bother me because I've, I have building plans all throughout here and just water being here really gets in the way. And I even thought about going back to my previous save two months ago. And I even thought about, I'd rebuild the museum in this. Like, I thought it wouldn't be that hard. And then I also thought I built a whole sewer under my base. And I'm like, okay, I don't want to do all of that. And one thing I've really learned, and I'm sorry if you don't like hearing me cussing, but sometimes in life, shit happens. And you have to learn to adapt to those situations. Because sometimes, life doesn't always go to plan. <laughs> that said, I got some work to do. So first order of business is going to be me covering all of this up with just dirt. That's all. Um, I even might try to rebuild that mountain some because I loved the look of that mountain in the distance and now I just have a gaping hole in it. But looky here. <laughs> we have some runes. Um, excuse me. What do we got? Coal. Nice fishing rod, actually. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh. Um, our nether portal is right there. <laughs> Do I get a treasure map, please? Would it even work? Probably not. You know what I'm most amazed about though, about this? It is very crappy that this happened, but it literally missed all of my builds. This couldn't have been the most perfect location for this to be put at because not one build of mine got affected except for maybe this little staircase right here. Maybe like a little gazebo over here, but it missed, it just hit like randomly generated terrain through here. This slime ain't giving up yet. We still have a lot to do in this world. We're back. We are back after a lot of time. <laughs> what do you guys think, huh? Huh? Does it look normal again? We got some sunflowers over there. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It looks like nothing happened, even though we got snow. Look, it snows right here now. <laughs> you know what? Past Alice would like this. Remember when I tried to cover my world in snow? So, at first, I started getting all the dirt out of my chest in this world, and at one point, I covered all the way... Do I have my telescope? Yeah. You can see the dirt still regrowing there. I went all the way up to that mountain and started building up the mountain with my dirt. And over this way, I think I just reached around here and I, I ran out of dirt. And then I sat and thought for a while because it was all flat. Like I, I didn't even start terraforming yet. And then I thought this was a bug. This was not supposed to happen. And in the past, I have gone in creative mode and fixed bugs. So that's what I did. I put all my stuff in a chest. I went to creative mode, just grabbed dirt, saplings, and bone meal, and I tried to rebuild my place as best as I can. And that is absolutely not cheating in my eyes uh, because this was not supposed to happen. Look at this. Did I do pretty good? I think I did pretty good. <laughs> now, this is not block for block, although I did go back to some of my older saves and see how to kind of rebuild some of this. Oh, actually, I came out to like here with my actual dirt. But we are far from done. I just covered up my main areas. As you can tell, 
Um, I'm starting to work over here, but I'm starting to hit this mountainside, and this is like a lot of terraforming. And this is where it becomes really wide as well. So this part is gonna have to be worked on over time as we play. I'll just keep switching over every once in a while and kind of trying to rebuild this because we got like big mountains over here and it just kind of sucks. And I'm probably not gonna work on the museum for a while because this just kind of puts me off a little bit. <laughs> but as far as I can tell, it looks pretty darn normal. And I did, I think I did a decent job at rebuilding the mountain. Look. You can barely tell that something even happened there. Now my question is, what is our map going to look like? Uh, should I even update it? Probably not. I'm going to anyway. Okay, just add snow. It's kind of like a mountainish color. Oh, what about this one? Is this going to look bad? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, I did a good job at redoing all this. Yeah, you can see the biome slowly changing color. Now, second order of business is backing up my world, because I am never risking that again. Be right back. <laughs> okay, so, where did we leave off? Finally, we can get back to business. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make this map wall, but I'm not gonna go and unlock a bunch of new maps. I've had my fun doing that. So, for the two to four scale maps, I'm just gonna bring up the old one. Plus, they're really hard to unlock, because it's, well, two to four. So, before this whole line that happened through here, I did actually start building a sugarcane tower. I decided in this part of the building here, um, at least for the first and second floor, it's going to be encasing, a, a, well, not small, but it's not big. It's a sugarcane tower, and it's not very efficient, and it's not fully automatic. It's going to be the one where I have to hit a lever to uh, pop it all off, because I don't want pistons firing randomly while I'm working around my world, because the last thing we need is more lag. <laughs> Um, so I did have the first bit of it made, but it got rid of it. <laughs> oh, great. Now I'm going to hear, like, drowned. Oh, my God. Like, if I break this block... Okay, look. Uh, oh, wait. It's right at the surface. Look at this. Oh, God! Hey, I want that. <laughs> look at this. This is going to be so weird at my base. Like, I have... I basically have an ocean under my house now. While I'm working on getting this map up here, I do want to tell you guys that I think, and this is a big I think, on episode 401, I'm finally going to bring face cam to my, well, Let's Play world and my channel. Now, first, it's going to be an experiment. We're going to see how we all like it. And if y'all just say, get your ugly face off the internet, then I'll probably take it off. But I've been really wanting to expand my channel and grow it even more. And I feel like bringing face cam will connect you guys more to me and my channel and, well, improve the quality of my videos. And I got a nice camera for it. It's not going to be some Logitech webcam connected to my monitor. I actually got a DSLR camera that's going to be used for it. And I got all the equipment ready. Well, kind of. But I'm not going to start it until after the world tour. Looking back at this, it seems like it must have taken forever. I mean, this took forever. Is that right? Yeah. That took for I don't even remember doing this one. Yeah, these are all two to four scale. And it's like, to unlock full one of these, it would take a good going back and forth. And I did this many? Now, the reason I'm not too ambitious to go create a new one of these is because a lot of areas the chunk borders started and I'm not too keen to see a bunch of chunk borders on here so yeah I'm fine with this <laughs> oh I don't have the museum on there but I don't want to go unlock it because it's going to create that river <laughs> I kind of want to do something cool 585-260 our world looks cool this is episode 393 585-260. Well, does it look different? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I forgot I already had that built at this time. I don't know what episode this is. But let me tell you, this was much simpler times. I, I, I like doing this every so often. Go back to see how far I've come. Whoa, this place is empty. And I remember around this time, I was like, this place is starting to come along. Cool. Like, I thought this room was really full. That's right. This is when we got the map update. Now, let's try something even more cool. What was it? 585-260? Is that it? Sounds right. What? Where's my house? <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, this is just so cool. Yes, my seed actually still works. You guys can play on it. There's the epic mountain. But the only things that have changed is uh, with the new updates. It added a village in my graveyard area n next to a... Wait, where's the ravine? What? That's weird. Last time we did this, there was an epic ravine through here. That's surprising. This little mountain I've still yet to do anything with. It made like a little farms up here. Factory sits right there. Another reactor sits right there. Did I always have a lava pool there? I don't think I did. There's the lab mountain door. Oh wait, look! It creates a new village here. That's cool that it actually keeps the village here. As you know, we have a village right here, but it is not the modern looking one. Oh, that tree was pretty OG. Oh, see this tree right here I took down so we can have a better archway? I, oh, that's sad. <laughs> see, our main like house sits right here, the main part of it. And if you guys never noticed, we always had this thing right here. Oh, look, copper's in here. And this is where the sewer like section is, if you know where that is. Huh. That's fun to check out. Big tree goes up there. Yeah, so that's uh, just reaffirming that the seed still works for this world if you guys still want it. We should call this mountain some. What should we give this mountain's name? Wait! Oh, I'm checking this right now. Where did the forest fire start? Okay, so I knew there was a lava pit right here. And it's more exposed than that in my world, so it kind of changed. Wait, no, in my world, it's like back here. That's weird. Huh. There's so many mobs out here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Give me in. <laughs> uh... So I am going to go ahead and end it here. I know, pretty short episode. But uh, I actually really want to work on the museum right now. But every time I go out there, I'm just kind of put off from the fact that that little chunk mess is going on right there. So that means I want to, in between episodes, go fill all that in with as much terrain as possible and make it look normal again so I can work over there. But I do have a comment question of the day about that today. But I'm going to go ahead and answer the one I missed in last episode, which comes from... The Wreck Tracks. Do you plan on continuing the Minecraft adventure? I really enjoyed that series. So I'm going to assume maybe you meant Nomadic Survival because the Minecraft Adventure series has not been on my channel for three, three, four years. <laughs> and the one before that was back in 2016 or something like that. And then I tried reviving it and only had like three episodes of that. Um, but the Minecraft Adventure, that's... That's one of my favorite series I've had on my channel because that was my first experience with Java Minecraft. Um, but I don't know, if I ever did start a Java Minecraft series again, I think I would call it the Minecraft Adventure. And it would just be me playing normal Java Minecraft. But I've obviously give myself some of my favorite challenges I love doing in Java Minecraft as well. Which is like obtaining a certain amount of like iron or get all iron tools and armor from looting, not mining. I always enjoyed that one. But there's a chance. There might be a chance. Who knows? One day. Maybe I will just have enough of this world one day, which is highly doubtful, but we'll see. Today's comic question of the day comes from Mr. Galaxy, and they said, Use Amulet. It's a Bedrock MC edit. Then copy and paste those chunks and the corrupted chunks from your old save. So I already do have an MC edit. What's it called? M something Universe, maybe? Uh, or just MC edit. Universal Minecraft editor. I think that's what it is. And I use that... Uh, to change my world back to 100% survival when I have to go to creative to fix these stupid bugs so I can start getting achievements again. And I've used it to reset my nether, but I've never gone through and actually used it to reset chunks. And I know it's possible because you can go on there and select a few chunks and have them reset to their default state. But you also got to think, um, these aren't the size of, at least I don't think they are. Were these the size of chunks? Maybe they were. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I didn't want to try that because I thought these were just like not the size of a chunk. Oh, glow squid. Hi. Uh, oh, it is actually, isn't it? This is 16 wide. I can't see crap. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. These are chunks. <laughs> I don't know what made me think they weren't. Did I literally waste all of that time? I think I... Ah! That scared me. I think I did. What the heck? Come on. Come on. Jump. Jump. Gah! What the heck was that? Oh, it was a creeper. 
Okay, just get me out of here. And now I'm getting ocean music. Okay, that looks weird. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to give this a shot. That would mean, if I did, I would select, I would try to select the right chunks and um, perhaps, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna give it a shot because I don't like the fact that there's an ocean under there right there. I would have to replant all my sunflowers and do all that stuff again, but at least I won't have a never ending ocean all the way out in that direction in one line because it's kind of bothering me. Well, I'll see what I can do. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I just slept. What am I doing? I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.